Welcome to a Sawin Prop Works Papercraft project. Uh, today we're going to be working on this papercraft spider that I designed several years ago, but I decided to only now make a video for. Using construction paper and the most important resource of all time, you can create these things en masse and they're a great Halloween decoration to use year after year on the cheap. The amount of materials in it is about maybe $2. Anyways, enjoy the video. <laughs> Step. We have to get these pieces of paper that from the plan that was printed out on just standard eight and a half by eleven paper. It, the plan's set to be scaled, so if you want to print it on eleven by seventeen, you can. You just need to have access to eleven by seventeen printer, and you can make the spider bigger. Now, if you are doing just like one of these spiders, you can cut these out directly and just trace them. But as I want to do multiple spiders, what I'm initially going to do is I'm going to take this using the glue. I'm going to glue them to this piece of black paper and this is going to become my first, like this is going to become my permanent template. So whenever I want to make a spider, I just pull this out and do it. So I'm going to go glue and then cut all these out. You should do the same and then I'll be back for assembly. And here we go. So I glued this down as before, taped it all down, or not taped it down, glued it all, cut it all out. And you're going to learn to love to hate this plan. I love this plan, but the one thing you're going to get used to is ridiculous amounts of cutting. And, you know, these eyeballs, these, I, I put them on the plan, but they're not absolutely necessity. You can cut those out separate and just be done with it. So I'm just going to get them off for now. So we've got all these pieces. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put them down. We're going to trace them through. And then we're going to go and spend the next three and a half years cutting. So I will go do that. I will trace these out and we're going to be done. The biggest one is going to be the legs. This is the one that takes the absolute most cutting of the bunch. So I'm going to put this body over here. And, you know, typical tracing is you just have to know one thing is you have to go with the legs you have to have four or eight one way and then eight the other way. So I'll just do two quickly here and then we will go on to the next step. So I'm just using a ballpoint pen because I can and it doesn't run out of ink and it makes life that little bit easier when I'm tracing 16 of these legs and they don't have to be perfect. You know, if you're not right on where it needs to be, it's not the end of the world because we're gonna be cutting this out and we're gonna be making mistakes when we're cutting. So you need to do this eight times because it's obviously a spider. We got, you know, 16 segments of the leg. Now on the flip, because we have to have legs for both sides of the body, this is the only thing I'm going to show before I go into uh, pause and cut all these out and draw these out because you don't need to see me doing this, is because each side of the spider has, you know, eight legs, you need to make sure that you have the flip side. So you have symmetry on the legs for the other side. If it doesn't happen, not a big deal, but as it stands, and some of my other spider plans I've been working on have different shaped legs also. But you see here, you need eight, eight, done. Spend three years cutting it out. So what you do is I just buy this card from the dollar store, it's just brown. You can do it on regular paper, like on the original plan, you'll see that I've got it where you can cut it out and make it uh, so you can stack the legs and cut out like four at a time. You can't do that on card, it's too hard, but I like card for the stiffness so the legs don't sag when it goes up on the wall. Anyways, I'm going to go through, do all this, and I'll be back in three and a half years after I finish drawing and cutting all this out. Three years later, no. This actually only took me about 20 minutes to do. So I put the main parts of the spider that I want in brown, obviously on the brown, and then I grabbed a second sheet of paper specifically for the feature stuff, you know, stuff I want to stand out a bit more. I like, I really like the actual green and brown look. So everything's outlined, everything's drawn. Make sure just a few notes that when you do the fangs, you do a flip side, especially if you're coloring them now. If you're not coloring them, it doesn't matter. You can just you can put everything symmetrical because you just got to cut it out. But if you're doing some coloring before you cut it out, you need to have the flip so you just make sure you have all the right colors going on. And here we go. So 
everything's colored. I went through and put a bit of texture onto these legs, you know, put a few hairs on the main abdomen and just uh, overall had fun. You don't have to do this step. I just like how it looks when I finish. So now the next step is here is to go watch a movie and cut out 16 individual leg portions. Anyways, when I'll be back, we'll have all these cut out and we'll go about assembly. Well, after much cutting out, as you can see here, we've got everything done. My hands are actually sore. I ended up cutting my hand the other day, so I had a blister exactly where the scissors ran. And it did not make this very enjoyable. So what we're gonna do now is we need to split these legs into left and right, as you see that I've done here. And by doing so, we know what the tops are gonna be in the left and right side. So now we're gonna split them into fours into each side. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we're gonna take those two, just put them up here so they're out of the way. Now these are gonna be the lower sets of the legs. And by doing this, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut them at the top so the legs have somewhere to hinge. So we're just gonna go right there, done. Gonna grab the other side and do the exact same thing. Cut about the same amount, right about there. There we go, we got the two sets. So now we're gonna grab, we're gonna move this back over to the side that it belongs with, which is here and we're gonna grab these ones. So this part here is actually pretty straightforward. All you do is you take your top leg, flip it over, take your bottom leg, put it onto the top leg like this, take a little bit of tape, and just tape it on. Now flip it over, you're gonna have a gap there, take a little bit more tape, Put it on here, like so. And just like that, you will have a completed leg. Now, we have to do a quick little fold here. So right about there, you fold it again. And what that does is it gives the leg something to, so you can tape the leg to something when it's all finished. And we also will tape, we'll be cutting it, we'll be doing another bend here, but we do that one after we're finished. So I'm going to pause do the rest of these legs and I'll come back and we will finish up the spider. All the legs are now taped and we're going to go and attach them to the oh uh, the sternum. This is just a quick, this is not a huge amount of taping that has to happen here. You just want to be supported enough where these legs won't fall off when they're up on the wall. So. So the first thing is we're going to flip this entire leg section over and there we go now what's going to happen is, is our spider's going to come up like this we're going to be putting tape on its legs there now what i normally do is when i get to this point here i just force a very small bend if i can get the leg up on each of these legs so they sit up so they don't have to fight the cardboard as much and it actually has, and you see how there's like a, a bump out on the sternum? If you fold literally right to that point, you end up with a really neat look, even when it goes up on the wall. So we're just gonna go like that, fold that up, come over here, do the same thing, and one last one. Okay, we're gonna go into final assembly now. Now with junk cardboard that you have kicking around, grab a piece of it, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it on the bottom of the spider here. And my tape was actually ripping there a bit. I was being a bit too forceful. So this is the back where we're gonna go. So we're just gonna take this piece of cardboard, put it down like so. You won't actually see this piece of cardboard. So you can just stick it down as much as possible and on three sides because you're going to have a bit of weight being supported on this. Okay, flip it over. That's our spider's legs all finished. I'm just gonna bring these legs in so we're not dealing with such a huge area. So the spider isn't all over the place when I'm putting it together. So now we'll go like so. Now on this, once you finish cutting it out, I've already attached the green pieces as you see here on this one. 
you just go around and put them on like eyes on the front here, skull on. You can do whatever decoration you want on here. This one, you cut that triangle out, you bring it across, leaving a bit of cardboard to glue to, and then you just pretty much collapse it. And what it does is it ends up giving it a bit of a bevel. You glue it together. I put an extra piece on the back just to make sure that that gaps that held together. And then with these two, you finish them up, you put them on. Now, in the set, you also had these three. Technically, this is for this part right here, but I like to use a bigger piece. So what we're gonna do is the first thing is first is we're going to grab our piece of cardboard and just roll it over a curved surface like so. And what it does, is it gives it a more natural curve and make sure that this little piece of cardboard doesn't have to fight as much to hold its shape. So we're just gonna take a bit of tape now. This is a fun little trick that I learned a while ago. If you put tape on the inside edge like so, you stick it down, oops. That was a mistake on my behalf because you put the tape on the inside edge again and you put it on to the inside here. Same thing again, grab another piece of tape, stick it on the inside because then you're not trying to put this tape on blind. Flip it over, bring it in a tiny bit, now tape it. But the thing is, is this tape will not hold on this cardboard, which is fine. That's why we're gonna be putting the top piece on. So you take the top piece on, get everything exactly where you want it. Tape, we'll trim that off after with some scissors. See that tape actually pulled fully off there because there's, just, there's actually a decent amount of pressure on this cardboard to release. So by putting the top piece on, you end up with tape on the top and the bottom. And what it does, it holds it really, holds the shape really well at that point. The better way would be to actually like hot glue or something this, but I prefer to use tape because everybody has access to tape and it doesn't matter your age. I'm just trimming off that last little bit of tape. Now you see we've got a nice curve here and that's gonna be sitting on our spider like that. So what we do now is we attach our fangs onto here and I'd usually do that with just a bit of rolled over tape. Stick it on the back. And I like these to stick out a fair amount like that. And if they cross, that's fine. It looks cool. And this tape is forgiving. You can take it back off again and readjust where you want it to go after the fact. Like, uh, yeah, that one's not quite where I want it. There we go. We're gonna look at the front and yeah, we got a really good look there. Stick down the backs. And now those are not going to go anywhere, okay? We take this now and we take the last, it looks a bit chaotic because my spider's got a whole bunch of 3D going on about it now. We take this piece of tape, flip it over so the sticky side is up without you know rolling it over onto itself, which happens. Stick it onto the underside like that. And then what you do is you put the head exactly where you want it and you push down. And what happens is, is that part now sticks to the base. We're going to go and grab the abdomen. Is it called an abdomen? This is where, yeah, it's the abdomen. Uh, we're going to grab our, our bridge piece here. Which I think those are about the same size. Grab the bridge piece. We're gonna do the same thing as we did last time to get this thing to pull into shape. We're gonna stick it there. This time we're gonna stick both sides of this at the same time, just so, because this is even more pressure than the last one. A little bit here, take it, flip it over, bring it in, and stick it down. Hold it in place until you get your next piece of tape in because it'll pull off so quick on this. There we go, done. That will give us a nice, good profile on this. It's gonna go like so. So once again, we grab a nice big piece of tape, stick it on the underside like so. 
line it up to where you want it. I prefer to have the abdomen go over top of the head because what happens, you're actually going to see I'm going to be fighting a bit here because now we're into the, we're into making this thing 3D and I'm trying to force it into ways that it doesn't want to go. Now we're just going to go like that. There we go, actually. You know what? Don't exactly like where that is. I'm going to move it up just a little bit closer. Let's see how it looks with this on top. There we go. Like so. Stick it down nice and tight. Like so. And I ran into a problem. I felt it when I pushed down on there that my tape on the front broke on me. And this is why sometimes it's best to have like glue or something on this because it can be a bit of a bit of a pain. So we've got our spider here now. It's all ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put it onto the wall. What we're going to be doing is we put tape on the bottoms of each of these and a little bit on the bottom of the body. We hang it up on the wall and then that's where I'll decide if I want to have this in behind or on top. But I'll be back and I'll show you the final install. So as you see, I've got it all placed. I like the, the abdomen up. The legs each had a little bit of sticker on, a little bit of tape on the bottom to make it stick. I posed the legs how I wanted. It turned out pretty darn cool. And now what's nice is with the templates and a bit of time, you can make tons of these spiders and are a big prop and they can go literally anywhere in your house, not necessarily outside, but inside they're a great decoration. And when you're done, with just cutting a few pieces of tape, this whole thing folds up and you can take it out again next year. Anyway.